So you've heard the fortune is in the follow-up. What type of follow-up plan and systems do you have in place? There are several ways to follow up. So you have the incoming new leads that need to be followed up on. You have uh, past leads in your database that you need to follow up on. And then those can go uh, from three months, six months, one year, and then two years and beyond. You have past clients um, or existing clients, you know, to follow up on that you haven't done a business with in a while. And then you have uh, the leads that are just what we'd call dead leads or cold leads that, uh, you know, never had any intention of doing business at all, but they're still in your database. So what is your follow-up system? You need to make sure that you've got a system, <clears throat> a system in place to follow up consistently. You want to make sure that your new inquiries, uh, it's speed to lead these days. It's all about the first in gets the deal. So whatever business you're in, if you're raising capital, if you're a wholesaler, if you're a flipper, if you're in commercial real estate, if you're reaching out to motivated sellers or commercial property owners trying to find off-market deals, when you send out a piece of marketing or you have a website that's uh, geared towards attracting sellers or investors or clients for your business, whatever it is, you need to answer the phone immediately. You need to follow up with that uh you know, initial lead immediately, if it's an internet lead that comes in off your website and, and uh, however that lead comes in, whether it's an email, a text, uh, or a phone call, you need to make sure you answer the phone. And if you can't, you need to follow up immediately. If you're a real estate agent, this is especially critical if you're in real estate as an agent or uh, motivated sellers that you're looking for. It's all about speed to lead. You know, in the real estate world, 95% of people do business with the first realtor they talk to. Motivated sellers are the same way. The first investor that answers the phone generally gets the deal. So that's one system of follow-up uh, that you need to have in place is following up with incoming leads. So now let's talk about your you know, past client and your database leads. What is your follow-up system there? If you're doing a lot of direct mail, you want to make sure that you've got a system in place to skip trace that direct mail that comes back. So any return mail, you want to make sure that you're following up on that. You skip trace it, you cold call it. That's the best thing to do with return mail. Uh, any other leads that come in from uh, that you've already talked to and you put them in your database for follow-up, you want to make sure you have a uh, consistent time frame, three months, six months, one year, 18 months, two years, and then after that, you keep continuing to follow up. I've gotten deals years down the road after I initially spoke with uh, people, and a lot of them followed up with me and uh, kept my information and my number. You know, two years down the road, I've had deals resurface. I had one that was three years down the road, one of the biggest deals I ever did in my life. Somebody tracked me down and uh, found my new office three years after the fact, and uh, we ended up doing business and turned into a uh, almost a $500,000 wholesale deal. Uh, I've talked about that on a couple of podcasts. So um, you've heard the fortune is in the follow-up. I can tell you personally, for me, Recently, I've done a number of deals uh, that came from contacts that I spoke to six months, maybe even a year ago. So you want to make sure that you have a consistent follow-up policy and practice, and you want to be consistent. You hear me use that word a lot, consistency. Everything you do in business, no matter what business you're in, it's all about consistent action on a daily basis. It's all about having systems in place and making sure that you follow up and follow through in every way on everything you do every single day. Whether you're sending an email out to somebody, you want to follow that up with a phone call. If you send a text to somebody, follow it up with a phone call. If somebody sends something to you, follow it up. So you always want to follow up, follow through, make sure that you have gotten through to whoever it is you're trying to get through with, and uh, make sure that you're always in touch with your database on a regular basis. You never know. Make sure that your last two questions are, what else, where else? Uh, you know, if you're in real estate, uh, is, uh, you know, do you have any other property you would like to sell or do you know anybody else who would like to sell a property? And the other questions you always want to ask is, is there anything else I should have asked? So your last two questions, whenever you're working with anybody on a new lead, you know, old lead, whatever it is, is there any other questions I should have asked or that I forgot to ask? And who else do you know? Where else? So if you're raising capital, do you know anybody else that would be interesting in investing just like you? Uh, who else should I know? Uh, that uh, is just like you that is looking to invest passively in deals. So follow up, follow through, who else, where else, what else did I ask, do I need to ask, should I follow up with?